Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Spider-Man Deluxe Edition Night Monkey. As always, we're gonna go over the packaging, the accessories, and of course, the figure. But before we start, if you wanna get this figure or any other day one releases, make sure you check out Pop Collectibles, link in the description below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, and now figure previews, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright, enough of the talking, we came here to see this figure, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, and here we have the packaging, and as you can see, we have a very nice picture of a Spider-Man in the front, Spider-Man stealth suit here. This is the side of the box with a very nice um, gray color pattern on the side. This is the back of the box with all the crates and warnings, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box, the bottom, Spider-Man Far From Home, last but not least, the top of the box. Now, this is a deluxe edition, so we have this cover in the front, so let me just remove it, and we have access to a very nice uh, art here in the front with Spider-Man, and of course, behind him is the lava or the monster whatever you want to call it but looks very cool i like it now if you open this up you have mysterio on the one side looking very cool and of course the window where you can see spider-man and all the accessories that this figure comes with so now let me open this up so we can take a better look at the figure but before we can see the side of the box with a very cool art the bag with a nice green color with all the cast and crew information so these people made this figure possible Thank you for that. Now this is the other side of the box with a nice Spidey logo here. And that's basically it. So let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. So let me just remove this here and take everything out. Now, this figure was on hold with a DHL. I don't know what the heck happened, but finally came here today and I'm very happy I have this figure in my collection so let me open this up so you guys can see how you'll see the figure in the packaging so now it comes with two layers underneath we have the uh the pole and of course the spider web and the neck which i don't know why we have a neck without a head sculpt whatever i guess we could use a different head sculpt which i did i'm going to show you later so stay tuned for that now this is all the accessories that comes underneath now let me show you the main attraction of the night we have all the hands and of course the diorama which is a beast and the stealth suit spidey looking very cool let me remove the plastic so you guys can see how you'll see it in the packaging let me do a close-up here that diorama is sick looks very very cool i really like it a bunch of hands here and that's basically it now what i'm gonna do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the figure. And here we have Spider-Man Night Monkey. And guys, I have to tell you, I really like this suit, especially because black is my favorite color, as you can see. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, we're gonna see the head sculpt looking very cool. I kinda like the shape and of course the eyes. You can see here in the front, a very cool pattern. You have the band going across and all over the head sculpt and it looks very cool now one thing that i didn't like about this figure is that it didn't come with another head sculpt which wouldn't be better but i guess the diorama may, uh, pays off for this set now this is the other side of the head sculpt and of course the front now this piece here are removable of course and magnetic and you can see the eyes looking to the side i'm not a very fan of how this looks i guess because the way he's looking to the side Makes it look like he has a lazy eye, but I guess it's my opinion. Now, this is at the front, and again, it is magnetic, as you can see here in the back. Looking very cool, very easy to remove. And if you put it on, you can actually open it up and see the eye. So let me just show you. You just flip it like that, and that's it. You have access to the eyes. And then when you want to change the other eyes, you just take this out and just push it. That's it. Very easy. Now, taking a look at the suit, I personally like it. I think it is very nicely done. This is the shoulder pads, which are removable. You can open it up and down. 
and you can see the middle with the fake zipper. You cannot open it. I tried. You can't. It's just fake. But nevertheless, looks very nice. I really like the detail on the belt as well with this weathering and black color. You can see the side and, of course, the arm and the um, gauntlet here with this uh, gray line in the middle. You can see uh, the side of the shoulder pad looking very cool, very soft material as well. And I think you will not have any problems with the articulation, which I'm going to show you later in the video. Now, taking a look at the pants, you can see those uh, patches there, which is attached to the pants so you cannot remove them. Now, it may limit a little bit the articulation on the leg, which I'm going to show you later as well. Now, moving down, you can see the boots, and I think this time is good. We have three pieces, so that means you're going to have more articulation on the feet, and that's great because I'm tired of seeing one solid piece with no ankle pivot. Now, this is the other side of the boot. You can see some weathering there and as well in at the bottom of the feet with the marble logo there. Now, this is the back of the figure and you can see the boots as well. The pants looking very cool material and the continuation of the belt. I kind of like those details there as well. And of course, the knee pads and the, I'm sorry, the elbow pads and of course, the back of the figure. So that's basically it. Now, let's do some articulation, shall we? Now, for the head, you can move it up this much, down this much, and to the sides this much. Not bad. Now, for the arm, you can move this up and down, lift the arm about this much. You can lift it about this much. And of course, back for about this much, maybe more. It's a new figure. I don't want to push it or break it. Now you can bend the elbow for about this much. It's a double joint and you can see the double joint here through the material. And of course, bicep, uh, bicep swivel. Now you have the classic peg articulation on the hand. You can move it up and down and to the sides. Now for the torso, you have some swivel here and of course the up crunch, which in my opinion is very decent. Now for the pants or the legs rather, you can um, do a split for about this much. And now this is the piece that I was telling you about. You have some swivel here on the thighs. If you lift the leg, you can see that it limits the articulation because this piece here hits the joint at the leg. So I guess we have to live with that. You can bend the knee for about this much. And last but not least, you have ankle pivot. Yes, finally, ankle pivot. Very good articulation and, of course, toe articulation as well. So really not bad. Now, let me show you the head sculpt that I put for this figure. Now, it is very easy to do. You just remove the head and you're going to connect the neck, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So this is the neck. And I took the uh, ball joint there because I don't have the previous release uh, head sculpt. I'm using the actual Iron Spider from Infinity War. And this is the, the this is the magnetic one. So I just improvise, I guess. So I just put it there, and I think I put the neck wrong. <laughs> I think I put the neck wrong, but you know what? It looks it looks good, anyways. So as you can see, it looks very nice. Uh, I think obviously it would be better if you have the regular head sculpt, but I think I'm very happy with the results. Now let's do some comparisons. And here we have stealth suit Spidey with the homemade suit Spider-Man and obviously look very nice with the red and the blue and of course the black. For the next one we have the Iron Spider and this one here is from Infinity War and that's basically the only two Spider-Mans I have in my collection. Last but not least we have Doctor Strange which I just put it there because of the size comparison and you can see that Doctor Strange is a bit taller. It's okay. I kind of like it. Now, let's take a look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories. And of course, the centerpiece of this set is this huge diorama piece. And you can see the face looking very cool. You have some parts of the streets <laughs> on top of the figure, which is the base. And you have the hand and the rocks. I kind of like the detail and the effect of those rocks flo you know, floating around the hand. It looks very nice. Very uh, good uh, paint application as well. You can see the lava effect with some uh, yellowish, maybe some red and orange color looking very good. And it's, you know, you can light it up, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. 
you can see the rocks very good detail as well and very well executed now underneath you have access to the batteries which are not included but i have batteries so i just put it on now you have the on and off switch with two different i guess levels option one it gives you a lot of feature which it is okay and i think the uh the second option the number two it gives you the same thing honestly i didn't see the difference <laughs> i guess because i have the lights on but still i really like the effect very well done this set is i mean this diorama piece is huge as you can see now it comes with the classic spider webs very similar to the previous spider-man releases so i'm not going to show you every single one but you get the idea and this is the other um spider spider web as well and that's basically it similar nothing new same as the previous one so you're not missing anything and then this um spider web here that's it that's basically it for the spider web i like to just leave it there because you know usually i lose them <laughs> now it comes with a bunch of hands as you can see we have four pairs of hands so i'm going to show you two so you can see the detail on the gloves and of course the fingers and it looks very nice very nicely sculpted you can see underneath as well very good um, amount of detail now as i said before this one also comes with the neck and this is the neck which i showed you just a second ago and that's basically it that's with a ball joint on the top and then three pair of eyes started with this one you can see the detail here it is magnetic as you can see and i don't know what type of look is this looks very similar to the one that the figure comes with anyways but you get the idea you have some options there and these are the individual eyes that you can put on the figure so this is one of them and the difference is that these ones are not magnetic so you just push it and that's basically it now this is the other set of eyes pretty much the same as the other one you can see the white and the black on the side and of course the back which is again not magnetic now this is gonna take me to my final thoughts about this figure honestly guys i was not expecting this figure to be that good and honestly i kind of like it i started with the likeness i think it is a good representation of night monkey now this figure comes with a decent amount of accessories especially especially the huge diorama piece which in my opinion it is the selling point now as far as the articulation this figure is very good you can do pretty much anything you want maybe some restrictions in the up crunch maybe some restrictions on the legs but other than that i think this figure is a good addition with a price point of about 305 310 dollars it is definitely a no brainer and because of that my final score is 8.5 out of 10 and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my Instagram and Facebook group Six Scale Media for anything related once in scale figures. Both links in the description below. Also, if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.